So Dell has done a great job with the XPS 13 line over the last couple of years. Now the 2018 version is something a lot of people have touted. So we finally got our hands on the XPS 13 2018 to check out what really makes this special or is it even worth the hype? Now the XPS 13 is really light. It is very portable. It's one of these um, Ultrabooks. Let's, let's go back to that old name, Ultrabooks, that really define what computing should be like, at least computing on the go. You've got a very thin form factor, uh, really nice and slim. This is rose gold, of course, with the white trimming all around. Very nice, solid build from Dell. Now, what you also have with this in terms of ports are you've got three Thunderbolt ports. You've got uh, two on the left-hand side uh, with a battery indicator there, uh, and then you've got your speaker grill on the left-hand side as well. On the right-hand side, you've got a headphone jack, uh, you've got another Thunderbolt port, and uh, you've also got a micro SD card slot. So at least there's space for expandable storage and of course, speaker grill on the right. So uh, in terms of just nice form and fit, really nice. The vent at the bottom of the device is kind of raised so it allows it to go uh, to push air out and down, so it keeps it nice, warm, and cool. Uh, overall, the design is pretty nice. So when you're walking around with this, it's very comfortable to hold. It's something that you can take with you on the go, and it looks really, really good. Now, if you don't like the rose gold, I'm sure there are other color options you can pick from. Performance, what are you getting performance-wise from this? So the, the model I have here that I tested uh, comes with a 4K display. It is absolutely fantastic. I have to tell you, they have done a great job on this display. It's very vibrant, it's sharp. It looks really, really good. And that's one of the main things I like about it. I think that display really just highlights and showcases what you have here. So it's a really nice, comfortable look. You've got that infinity display. You do, of course, have your camera at the bottom, which, ah, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's something that I understand and I can uh, take note with that. In terms of the keyboard layout, it's really nice and flush all around. So you've really got a nice flush keyboard here and a really smooth trackpad, something that uh, Dell has kept really well with the XPS line and I think a lot of Windows manufacturers should basically take note. So typing on this keyboard is really nice. Using it for work is great. But the display, again, going back to that, when you're watching content off this thing, really shines, looks good, very vibrant, very sharp. Um, it's just something to behold. And uh, when you're talking about performance here, since I mentioned performance first, uh, you've got uh, a Core i7 um, uh, uh, chipset here. This is the eighth generation with the Intel 620 graphics chip. This doesn't have a dedicated GPU, but you can still do some editing on this thing. It just takes you a little longer. You can also do some very light gaming. I was able to play Call of Duty uh, World War II at 720p. Granted, it's a 4K display. but able to do that and run some really good frame rate. So again, it is quite possible to do a lot of things with this. Battery life, that's something some of you want to know about. This thing is fantastic, especially with a 4K display. I thought the battery life would be bad, but running videos concurrently on a 4K display here with this, I was able to get uh, close to about 10 hours and 30 minutes on this, Really nice for something with a display output that's pretty high there, of course, in resolution, but also performance-wise, this thing just handles well. I really like it. It's very comfortable to take with you on the go. Uh, that's what I like. I like the fact that Dell has basically crafted something that, as a user, if you're looking for a laptop that can basically do your daily tasks, but also give you that premium look and finish, the XPS 13 is the laptop for you. Now, this configuration I have here has the Core i7 8th generation chipset. It's also got 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it's got 512 gigabytes of, um, of storage, of course, which is NVMe on this, which is pretty nice. And um, it's priced at $2,099. So for a very small light form factor like this, something you can easily take with you on the go, I think the XPS 13 really hits the mark of what premium laptops should be like. So if you have any questions, any comments, or you're thinking of picking uh, the XPS 13, definitely use our link down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.